Evening, Dwayne here, Dry Creek Wrangler School. Uh, we're finally going to get that video done on turning stirrup leathers. Now you look at this, what we got going on here, and you say, Dwayne, what in the monstrous name of all that is decent and logical and in order do you have going on there? Uh, well, I have a mess, but I'm a high-tech redneck. Okay, I'm not a, I'm not a uh, saddle maker. I'm just a cowboy. Sometimes I got to get his stuff done. So we're gonna turn this stirrup leather here like those are turned on my saddle to do that you need the stirrup leathers and the fender at least a part a third of the way up the fender you need them to be really good and wet uh, now you can stand there with a garden hose and hose it down and hose it down make a mess across the yard and make a bunch of mud and stuff or you can do a bucket take the stirrups off that's what we've done here and put everything down in the bucket of water now the bucket of water wasn't high enough to get as high as I needed on the saddle with the saddle stand, so I put the bucket on a bucket, all right? And so hopefully there's not a hole in the uh, bucket in the boat in the bottom of the sea or something like that. That's what we got going on there. So to do this, you need water to be able to wet the stirrup leathers and the fenders, and you need strings. Now I stopped in at Tractor Supply. Uh, you don't want anything finer than this. This, this is just, this is leather. Uh, leather laces is what this is listed as. I was going to get um, saddle strings and do it with saddle strings, and that's actually probably better. They had one set there, and they wanted $25 for that set of saddle strings, and and uh, I said no. That's just ridiculous for two little strips of leather. So we got these, and you want to take these, and you want to drop them in the bucket and get them wet too, okay? So while this is soaking, we're going to talk about this. Now, if you're not mechanically inclined and by mechanically I mean you just don't do stuff with your hands you're just not that into that which is fine and you just want to find a way to turn your stirrup leathers uh, the easiest way possible now well let's just go back to the beginning why do we want to turn our stirrup leathers well it's, most saddles in their natural state the stirrup is coming down here flat against the horse's side the leathers flat everything's flat well, when you go to ride, you turn that stirrup out and put your foot in it. Well, you're fighting against the natural state of the leather, okay? The fenders and the stirrup leathers, you're twisting them against what they're wanting to do. And so you got two or three things. If you get on a twisty horse, you get in a little bit of a bind, your foot comes out, you're trying to find your stirrup, your stirrup went back up against the side of the horse, it's hiding out, you can't find it, you can't get in there. But the other thing is, if you ride a little bit, you don't ride a whole lot, you've got kind of a newer saddle maybe, and your ankles and knees are just hurting horrendously, one of the contributing factors might be that this is constantly pulling your foot in, and without realizing it, you're fighting this with your ankles and your knees trying to keep your toes out where they're supposed to be. All right? Well, one thing you can do is just take your saddle outside, um, and just leave the stirrups on and everything. Don't take anything apart. Don't worry about it. Put them in a bucket of water like this or stand there and hose them down and get them good and wet. Now, if you're going to wet it, you want to wet it up here because you're not just turning this. You've got to be able to do it so this folds. See how that folds and comes in there? You want to be able to form all that leather, okay? So do both sides, then find you a, a mechanical device. And now the measurement of this is very scientific and it's very specific. It's got to be about yay long. Okay? So find, <clears throat> find you a yay long device and come in here and turn your stirrup leather and come in from the back side and just run it through. Now this is a simple, you guys probably already know this, but there might be one person that's really new and uh, they hadn't picked up on this yet. So I'm doing this for you. Do the same on the other side. Put that stick through there. Put the saddle back in the tack shed or in the house or wherever you keep it. Let it dry. And just leave the stick in there until next time you go to ride. You go to ride, pull the stick out, ride. And depending on how thick the leather is, how old the leather is, just how your uh, stirrup leathers are, how they're positioned and everything, you might want to come back when you get back and put it back on the saddle stand and just put the stick back through. I've had old saddles before that were 
I, I did not want to go through that process for just because of the the age of the saddle or different things and but they were pretty stiff and so I just when I kept them on the saddle stand in the house I normally keep my good saddles in the house I kept the stick in them all the time if I took them out to clean them took them out to oil them I'd oil them put them back in there put the stick back in old soak soft and leather and it would form around that and uh, most time that's for for um, pleasure riders, casual riders, that's all you need, okay? But now if we want to go a bit further, we've got this soaked pretty regular. So I'm going to get my bucket out of the way. Pull that out. Reach in there and get me a string. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the stirrup leather and I'm going to fold it. Now you see how the buttons on the Blevins buckle, they're facing that way, okay? I'm going to fold this the same way those are facing. Now you can tell here that I've got this leather really wet, so it's folding really good. If you go to fold this and it only folds about that far, put it back in the bucket. It's not wet enough, okay? It needs to be wet enough so the leather is really soft and just folds right up in there, okay? then take your string now you can wrap your string however however you want I'm gonna come back here and leave me about that much to tie and I'm gonna put that behind that finger so it's out of the way all right I'm gonna pull that tight and I'm gonna wrap this in here neat okay I'm gonna wrap it in here neat wrap the coils in here Now we got everything wet so that when it dries, I'm gonna double up on my coals and start coming back up to my other piece. So that when everything dries, it's all gonna dry in place and it's gonna dry in that shape and in that position and it's just gonna stay there, okay? Now that's enough. That ain't going anywhere. And then I'm just gonna tie it off. Now what kind of double fancy buckaroo cowboy knot am I going to tie? I'm just going to tie a granny knot. That's all I'm going to tie. Why? Because that's all I need to tie. It ain't going to come out. Now when I get everything said and done, I'll, well I'll just go ahead and do that now. Pull out my handy dandy buck 110. Get rid of my danglies. Right, so now we're gonna put the stirrup on. We're gonna twist that, okay? And we're gonna come in here. Now before, these Blevins buck, it came up the back side and came in. So now we twist it and we're coming in this side. Okay, we're gonna put it in this side. Now when you do this, you gotta pull the sleeve of your Blevins buckle off and you gotta turn it around and put it back on. So this slot will go over put that on all right now we come in here and we put our stirrup hobble on this we will worry about later right now I just want things to dry in shape and we can fold that up wherever it winds up working best for mama based on the length okay so now I'm gonna come in here put this stirrup hobble on And now the stirrup is naturally hanging down. Okay, it's natural. You see how that one's hanging flat. This one's hanging like this. No broomstick. All right. This is the way it is. Now we can come in here later and we can fold this up and put it in behind the the deal. But that's a matter of taste. It's however Mama wants it. All right. So we'll worry about that later. But this is one way, there's different ways to turn your stirrup leathers. This is one way to do it. I'm gonna pull that up a notch tighter so it pulls us in here so this comes in here and dries flat, okay? 
all right you see the difference um and it's not complicated to do all right just make sure you fold this leather in the in the right direction fold it so the cup the trough is towards the buttons coming out and have everything thoroughly soaking wet so you can form it the way you want and uh, and it dries where you want now when her stirrup leathers dry her stirrups are going to be staying like my saddle right there my saddles done that way my saddle is done like that from the factory uh, and my stirrups always face forward All right, so now, uh, I hope this helps you, and uh, I hope uh, I hope you keep finding these little ways to make things just a little bit easier. Um, and so, I'm just going to say from here on out, um, be logical, be reasonable, be safe, and have fun. Find the things that are causing pain and stop the pain because pain ain't no fun.